This is Twit. Without further ado, let us definitely get rolling here with our first question. Uh, that question comes in from Susan. And Susan writes in and asks, I have questions for you regarding Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 and Warp app. I understand how this app works in 1.1.1.1 mode as it just performs encrypted DNS queries, but I am confused as to how this app works in 1.1.1.1 and warp mode. In the latter mode, my DNS queries are still encrypted as well as most of my internet traffic. It essentially acts as a VPN, but somehow I don't think it is as private and secure as a true VPN such as ExpressVPN. Could you please explain the difference between these two things? Uh, I currently have the paid version, which gives me Warp Unlimited, and I like that. It uses less resources on my mobile devices, but I can't figure out exactly how it works, and I don't want to throw my money away. If anyone could explain this, I know it's you. Thanks in advance, Susan. So Susan asks a great question, and honestly, one of the big things here is that things have gotten kind of complicated in the VPN online connectivity space. Uh, Apple released a an, an addition to its iCloud services that also kind of <laughs> kind of sort of acted as a VPN called Private Relay, but is also not a VPN. And there are other services out there that claim to kind of improve your security online, but are also not VPNs. And so it kind of muddies the water a bit, and it's understandable that things would be a little confusing. Um, what, what Cloudflare is doing, first and foremost, and this is great, Susan knows that Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 service, what that does, that it is a DNS service that helps you to uh, connect with different sites online. And because you are using Cloudflare's system, uh, you probably are going to see some performance boosts. But here's the thing. When it comes to the warp stuff, because I don't even want to call it a VPN, it is not a VPN. Um, where it is helping you is in a very particular uh, area that you won't necessarily get from other privacy applications. And that is protection from your ISP, your internet service provider, seeing what sites you are communicating with, okay? So when you use other tools, there's a possibility that whenever you're browsing those sites, your ISP is seeing your DNS queries because by default, your ISP is doing those DNS queries for you. You have to actually go in and change that. So by switching to Cloudflare and then using this enc encrypted system to do so, that does prevent your ISP from seeing your DNS queries. What Warp does on top of that is it is a, the thing that you're paying for, the, the Warp Plus that you're paying for, is a speed boost on the basic 1.1.1.1 Warp service, okay? You are paying to gain access to more of Cloudflare's data servers and more locations uh, to give you an even faster connection to the internet. And as when this, this first came about, there weren't a whole lot of performance boosts. Over time, performance boosts have improved, but in the grand scheme of things, um, there, there isn't a huge, huge, huge difference for you. So I guess, Susan, what I would recommend here is maybe turning off the Warp Plus and seeing if you feel like there's a difference for you and using that to decide whether you wanna to continue to do it. But if you're looking for a VPN to do the things that a VPN does, which again, lets you visit websites in a way that you are masked from other, uh, from other users because you and other users are using the same IP address to access those sites, then this is not going to do that. Your IP address is not blocked from the site that you're visiting or the different 
uh, things along the way, like ads and whatever else that happen to be there that are also collecting your IP. That is not what 1.1.1.1 plus warp does. That is not its purpose. It does not solve that issue. That is where a virtual private network comes into play. And that's the, that is the solution to that problem. So Susan, I want to thank you again for your question. Uh, it's a very good one. And it's one that I think uh, a lot of people you know, might be kind of confused about what am I paying for here? And in the case of uh, this service from Cloudflare, you're simply paying for even faster speeds than you are already getting uh, when it comes to DNS uh, resolution uh, with that Warp Plus subscription. But should you, are you throwing away your money? No, not necessarily. But could your money be used in a better place, like having a subscription to a VPN, if that's what you were expecting to be getting from Cloudflare? Then yeah, your money would be better spent on a VPN. <laughs> 